Kali Linux is based on Debian and is free to download and use. Now let's move on to the installation process. The first step is to download the latest version of Kali Linux 2023.1 from the official website. You can choose the 64-bit or 32-bit ISO image, depending on your system's architecture. Once you have downloaded the ISO image, you need to create a bootable USB drive. You can use a tool like Rufus, Belina Etcher, or UNetbootin to create the bootable USB drive. Insert the bootable USB drive into your computer and boot from it. To do this, you may need to change the boot order in your system's BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you have booted from the USB drive, you will see the Kali Linux boot menu. From here, select Install and press Enter to start the installation process. Next, you will be prompted to configure your network settings. You can choose to set up a wired or wireless connection or skip this step if you prefer to configure your network later. In this step, you will be prompted to partition your hard drive. Select Manual Partitioning if you want to create your own custom partition layout. Create partitions as shown. We will be creating four partitions. The default file system for root and home partition would be ext4. Once you have created your partitions, you can proceed with the installation process. Kali Linux is a popular and powerful Linux distribution specifically designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. It comes with a range of pre-installed tools that make it an ideal choice for security professionals, ethical hackers, and researchers.
After the installation is complete, remove the USB drive and reboot your computer. You should now be able to boot into Kali Linux and start using it. I hope this guide helps you install Kali Linux 2023.1 with manual partitions. Good luck with your digital forensics and penetration testing endeavors.